summary of Daf Non Ches. This is a beer on, on the mime of uh, talking about by Tzaisi verse Veivesi. And uh, we might call this the Kabbalah of the neck. So in Sphiris, in Kabbalah, talks about how there's Chachma, Bina, Midas, and Malchus, the four base, the, the nu uh, nucleus of the family in Kabbalah, father, mother, son, daughter. Uh, the Chachma is the initiator of the idea, the father, then the mother's, the Bina is the development of the idea, Bina, then we have the children that come out, the Midas, the motions, and Malchus, which makes it practical. Uh, and uh, and uh, referring to Malchus as the, the, the daughter and the Midas as the son. So what happens is that we sometimes have a blockage between our intellect and our emotions. The head is the uh, seat of the intellect and the neck blocks and doesn't let it come to the motions where it can expand further, which is why the body is wider than the head. But the most narrow is the neck. Now, Mitzrayim is that neck and tries to block uh, us from the ideas that we reflect on then that we know about Hashem and we, we read about in davening from affecting our hearts. And uh, that's what Pari also does by standing by the river. He's blocking us uh, is, from, is blocking the river to, uh, from flowing from the head, from the intellect into the emotions. And what we need is it's used in time, the exodus to allow the, uh, the uh, intellect to give birth to real emotions. So the neck, uh, to explain uh, further, that the uh, neck is uh, the, the point of transformation from intellect to emotions. So when you have intellect, you have full intellect. When you have emotions, you have proper emotions. But the most sort of insecure, fragile time is in between in the neck where you don't have proper intellect because it has to limit itself to go down to emotions. But you don't yet have emotions either. So what do you have neither? And uh, that is the problem of the uh, neck. And uh, the clip of the neck, when it gets stuck there and it, it, it you end up without the full idea, with its details, neither with the emotions either. Uh, but uh, when it's uh, before it's uh, before it's uh, trying to transform and it's still in the head, then you're able to have the idea in its full uh, uh, detail, its full glory. But now the neck has this great symptom in order to hopefully bring it to emotions, but sometimes it gets stuck there. So in Kabbalah, it talks about Yisod, a mother end. Yisod is the end of Bina, which gives over to emotions, uh, that it wants to give, give over to Chazer, to the chest of Zah. Zah is the emotions. But uh, sometimes it gets stuck in the neck. And really, uh, the, the, the body in general has three parts. There's the head, the torso, and the legs, or more specifically, the Torso itself has three parts, the top of the torso until the chest, then the chest until the belly button, and then the belly button down being the third part relating to emotions as they bring to actions. The first part is in the ideas that fuel the emotion, the emotion itself, and the emotion as it brings to action. Uh, so what we want to do is that the next shouldn't block um and uh, in, instead should actually let things let things through uh but sometimes when you have like for example a child uh that because his intellect is weak so therefore he easily gets emotional he easily gets upset and is less the child's less tolerance as well because the uh the intellect would normally make the child more calm and more tolerant but with, when that is weak then he has these outbursts and this is the idea of Haran. That Haran, that Rizal says, is the same gematria as, um, as uh, Garin, which means the neck. Haran and Makayla is the same numerical value, um, two, 259. Uh, and that's because Haran, this uh, uh, bad place where, where Lavan lived, etc. So it's also this idea of blockage that we're not able to develop this feeling for Hashem. And this is even when we have. The, we have the idea in our mind and we even have a love in our heart, but it's concealed and it's not able to come out. And that's because Pari is standing by the river blocking that Pari represents other desires, foreign desires, which are not letting us just focus and fully develop our, our yearning and our desire for Hashem. 
But then we also have Yetzias Mitzrayim, the exodus from Egypt and the birth, which is when the neck doesn't block on the contrary, it, it passes through the neck and continues on. It's the medium which connects. And this is, uh, the neck also is, is uh, when it, it is connecting intellect and emotions, the neck is where the curl is, where uh, sound is, and uh, where, where, we, where our voice is. And this is the voice of Torah that um, brings our intellect to our neck. And when this happens, we have great simcha, because whenever there's birth, there's simcha, there's joy, and uh, this uh, love, this avatanugan, this love and, and pleasure and bliss in Hashem. And... Uh, now, in uh, the 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 daf concludes just with uh, explaining that Malchus has two ways to receive from Zah. Malchus receives from the Midas, either the external of the Midas bring to the external of Malchus. So the external of the emotions bring to the external of our speech, the words we use, or the uh, uh, internal of the Midas bring to the internal of Malchus, uh, which is uh, the the not the words, but the the idea, the light, the energy behind the words that they come from the internal of the menace. That concludes today's stuff. We'll continue the beer tomorrow.